glory be to God. Amen, 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 amen. Please, again tonight, you will permit me to be off camera uh, because I need to position my leg a certain way so that it doesn't swell up. So permit me, please. Then my team members, you can put on your camera for those who are watching to, to see some prayer warrior faces. Thank you, Luella, for putting on your camera. Yes, but Ronnie, thank you. Where are the other team members put on your camera? Um, we're not on YouTube yet. Tony, is that a challenge? Is there a problem? Why we're not streaming live on YouTube? Um, so you're welcome, you're welcome. I'm sure our YouTube audience are waiting. Tony, please stream it online so that they can be part of the part of the prayer team. Uh, if there's a challenge, then chat me, let me know what's going on. All right, so you're welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome again to the altar of prayer. Yes, iPhone mama hope. <laughs> I for Mama Hope. You are welcome in Jesus' name. We are enjoy our monthly birthday, birthday singles, powerful. So I'm waiting for August one. It must be special. <laughs> God answers prayer, brethren. God answers prayer. Prayer works. And prayer is walking. Let us not cease in praying, for we shall surely reap the reward of prayer if we cease not. Let's not be weary in praying. We shall surely reap if we cease not. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I'm going to pray and then we'll get started tonight. Uh, Tony, we're still not on YouTube. I said you should chat me if you're having a challenge doing that so that we know what to do. If you're not having a challenge, then please stream it on YouTube so that the YouTube team will not be forced. They will not be stranded. But if there's a challenge, then chat me on the chat. Let me know what is going on. All right, so we're going to pray now and then we'll get started. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. The God of heaven and earth answers prayer. We appreciate you. Thank you for all the answers we've gotten on this platform. Thank you for the answers we are getting and the answers we will yet get. To you be all the glory. Tonight, we ask, O oh God, that you grant open heaven unto us. You will grant us utterance in the place of prayer. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will do things that only you can do on the altar of prayer tonight. We connect our altar to that of Jesus. And we ask, O oh God, that angels will ascend and descend on be in between these two altars, that whatever we bind here will be bound in heaven. And whatever we lose here will be lost in heaven. I promise, Lord God Almighty, that all the glory will be returned unto you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Yes, Prof, thank you for putting on your camera, for joining the team tonight. We appreciate you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Sakara Vashitaha, Rigadora Moshataya Balaba. Let's pray for everyone that is sick right now before we get into today's job. Everyone that is sick in one form or the other. Everyone that is on the sick bed. Let's pray for them right now for supernatural touch of God from heaven. 
Shalabali kiri basuka tabayatite. Father, we pray for everyone that is sick right now. Lord, physical sickness, mental sickness, spiritual sickness, emotional sickness, every form of sickness. Lord God Almighty, of Jubilee members right now, we pray for divine healing, divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your angel that walk with house of glory go forth to wherever they may be and minister to them in the name of Jesus. Father, we deploy angelic medical personnel to them wherever they may be right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we deploy angelic medical personnel to appear to them like human beings and attend to them miraculously. Lord, let angels go to them wherever they may be. Every member of House of Glory that is on the sick bed right now as we speak. Let angels go and appear to them in form of human beings, medical personnel, and attend to them and treat them in the name of Jesus. Carry out surgical operations. Carry out therapeutic treatment in the mighty name of Jesus. Carry out, Lord God Almighty, all forms of necessary treatment in the body. Surgery, therapy, in the name of Jesus. Marika to barama sutayagede. Shikalo bokoro bosunto yikarabaya. Sibra de katobayante likiri bushiteye. Zadira kutabo shiketebo likara masundeye. Zandire gedebo shikatova la karama shitaha. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. All right, so let me get a volunteer to please call Tony to check on her to make sure that she herself is okay. It's very unusual for her not to stream and not to respond. So let somebody check on her for me to make sure that she's fine, please. Glory be to God. All right, so we're still praying on the subject matter uh, of keys to kingdom wealth. Every, every provision of the kingdom, there are ways to access it. Every provision of the kingdom, God has, you know, provided uh, ways to access it, to take advantage of it. Just like provisions of the government for us, you know, the provision of the government for us, for citizens, the government has stipulated ways to access it. That is how the provision of the kingdom, God has provided ways to access it. And so not only are we going to mute yourself if you are muted so that there won't be distractions. Okay. All right, so we're looking at ways to access kingdom wealth and at the same time we are backing it up with prayers to be able to access it. The Bible says commit your ways unto the Lord and trust in him and he will make your plan to come to pass. 
So that's why we're looking at what is the scriptural provision for accessing kingdom wealth so that we can put plans in place to follow those ways and those principles, and then we back it up with prayer. So we're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 9 in particular. For now, uh, there are other scriptures that we'll, uh, we'll look into uh, also as we consider this subject matter. So yesterday, we look at three verses. Verse 6, verse 7, and verse 8. And we, we look at it from TPT, the Passion Translation version. Uh, and he says, here my point, he said, here is my point. This is Paul speaking, the apostle to the Gentiles. He said, a stingy sower will reap a meager harvest, but the one who sows from a generous spirit will reap an abundant harvest. So one of the kingdom principles here is that your harvest is determined by your seed. The size of your harvest is determined. Uh, the, the, the quantity or size of your harvest uh, is determined by the size of your seed. And uh, we don't actually, this is not rocket science, really. If you are a farmer in the physical, you will understand this. Because as you, for instance, if you're planting yam, the bigger your, your yam seed set, the bigger the yam that will, you know, you will harvest at the end of the day. You know, so it's very straightforward. And what that is telling us is that if you need more harvest, then increase the size of your seed. If you need more harvest, increase the size of your seed. The bigger your seed, the bigger your harvest. The same thing, you know, in investment. The bigger your investment, the bigger your return on investment. That is how it works also in the things of the spirit. Uh, and that is scripture. Uh, a stingy sower will reap a meager harvest. A generous sower will reap a bountiful harvest. So it's good as a child of God that we understand this principle and be able to engage it, you know, uh, in our quest to access kingdom wealth. Then the second point we discussed yesterday is that it must come from your heart. He says, let it spring up freely from the joy of giving. You know, uh, let giving, sorry, he said, let giving flow from your heart. Let, the, let giving flow from your heart, not from a sense of religious duty not from a sense of religious duty. Let it flow from your heart. So uh, there's a scripture that says, that support this one, that if there's a willing heart, if there's a willing heart first, uh, so that's, um, If you look at actually, uh, like I said, most of these principles of giving, they are not new really. So that's why I don't personally, you know, believe that uh, any of these forms of giving is wrong. Uh, we just need to know what the instruction is uh, for us at our own time. Because what, what Paul is saying here, that let it 
let it come from your heart, Moses said it to the children of Israel in Exodus chapter 35 and verse 5. Moses said, take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, an offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass. Okay, this is Moses. You know, and Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, this is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, an offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass. Okay, and then in verse 21 of that same scripture, verse 21 of Exodus 35, uh, I'm copying it as I'm speaking. It says, and they came, everyone whose heart stirred him up and everyone whom spirit made willing. And they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation and for all his service and for the holy garments. So Moses told them, you know, uh, whoever is of a willing heart should bring it. And the Bible says, everyone whose spirit made willing, they brought it. So their spirit made them willing. Uh, I think there's another verse in verse 29 of that same scripture. Let me copy it again. Verse 29 of Exodus 35. Look at what it says. It says, the children of Israel brought a willing offering, a willing offering unto the Lord. Every man and woman whose heart made them willing. Okay, their heart made them willing. Okay. So verse 21 actually said, whose heart stirred him up and everyone whom spirit made willing. So their heart stirred them up and their spirit made them willing. Their heart stirred them up, their spirit made them willing. So that's what Paul is saying uh, we should do also in our own dispensation. Paul said, it must come from the heart, okay? And it must be with joy. Uh, it must be with joy. So it must come from your heart. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, stand, it's a standard that God has established from generation to generation. It's a standard. So our offering must uh, come from a willing heart and our spirit must made, make us willing. Our heart must tear, up, tear us up. Our spirit must make us willing and we give according to uh, what our spirit made us willing to give and our heart tear, tear us up to give and then we do it with joy, not with grumbling. It is when we are, when we are, you know, doing it as a religious duty that uh, grumbling is setting. Grumbling is setting at that time. So, uh, whatever may lead to grumbling, I think we should 
remove it. So uh, Romans for I bear record ye and beyond their power they were willing of themselves. Okay, Romans 8, 12. Let me, Romans 8, 12. Uh, let me copy that also. So that we see these principles, understand them and practice them accordingly. In Romans 8, 12, uh, Paul said, also here that for if there be first a willing mind it is acceptable according to that a man had and not according to that he had not if there's a willing mind it is acceptable what what does that mean that could mean that if you if it is not coming from a willing heart it is not acceptable. It may not be acceptable. I think this scripture can mean, can, can be, can be uh, interpreted to mean that for if there be first, you know, first. So before anything else, before the amount, before, you know, anything else, he said, first, if there be first a willing mind, it is acceptable. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so let me pick... Uh, verse 9 of uh, chapter 8 uh, before we get to verse 12 of chapter 8 there's, <clears throat> there's an important statement Paul made there that I want us to look at even as we begin to pray verse 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 he says, for ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. So, <laughs> amazing. This scripture is very instructive. This scripture is very, very instructive. <clears throat> and I want us to examine it. Like I said at the beginning, every provision of the, of the kingdom, there are ways to access it. There are principles of accessing it. Okay. So, in in second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 it says jesus was rich but for our own sake he made himself poor he became poor so that we through his poverty might be rich so this is the door of kingdom wealth this is the door of riches. This is the channel of riches that Christ opened for us. Just like he had no sin, but because of us, he became sin. So that through him becoming sin, we can achieve our righteousness. We can attain forgiveness. All right? So he became sin for us so that we will become the righteous of the Lord. And he has given specific instruction on how we will receive the righteousness, how we will receive the forgiveness. He gave instruction about it. You believe in your heart 
that he died for you and you confess in your mouth that he is Lord, then you will access the forgiveness and the righteousness that he has worked out on the cross and made ready for us. You will access the healing he has perfected on the cross and made ready because he himself bore our iniquity, the chastisements of our pieces upon him, and by his stripe we are healed. So you will notice that kingdom provisions, all has been perfected on the cross for us and made ready. We just need to understand how to access it and we begin to access it and enjoy the provision. So the same thing, kingdom wealth, has been perfected on the cross of Calvary. You see, a lot of people, they go around doing money sacrifice, uh, using human blood, using animal blood, using you know uh, we, we, women underwear and all sort of things. Okay, you don't need to go that route. You don't need to go that route. The spiritual uh, uh, the spiritual condition for you and I to access wealth that has been met on the cross of Calvary. We just need to know what to do here on earth to access it. So Jesus became poor so that you and I, through his poverty, we can become rich. And so how to access it, those are the things we're discussing. You know, so number one, uh, the size of your so it's a, it's, a, it's a principle of sowing and harvest, sowing and harvest. And the size of your seed will determine the size of your harvest. And then it must come from your heart. It must come from your heart. It must uh, come with joy. It must be from, with joy, okay? Uh, not from sense of religious duty because God loves a hilarious, you know, giver. So this conditions this this uh, 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 these principles they are very simple and they are very very easy to follow and then look at what he says God will do he said God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so there's a grace that God will release what will that grace do it will help you it will help you make you have more than enough in everything more than enough every time more than enough in every way, and you will overflow with abundance in every good thing that you do. Stephanie. So I have expanded on what I shared yesterday, uh, but because our time is fast spent now, I will stop here and then we will uh, we'll pray. But this topic that we're examining this month is more of understanding and practicing than praying. See, that's why you notice that I'm taking quite a, a, a reasonable number of time to explain and to teach before we pray. Because when it comes to accessing kingdom wealth, it's more of understanding it and, and engaging in it than praying for it. Uh, glory be to God. All right, so we're going to uh, begin to pray now uh, within the short time we have left. I want us to thank God first. I will continue the teaching tomorrow. I will continue the explanation tomorrow and even uh, the whole of next week. I will continue to teach on this subject matter and we'll pray about it and then uh, March we'll move to another subject. All right, so let's thank God for this divine provision he has made for us to access kingdom wealth, to have sufficiency of all things. Let's give him glory and give him honor and give him adoration for that divine provision. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you for this divine provision that you have made for us. As an individual, as a, as a body, we thank you for this divine provision, this channel, you made available for us to access kingdom wealth. The Bible says that though you were rich, but 
for our own sake, you became poor. What a love, what a sacrifice. So that we, through your poverty, we might become rich. We are grateful, we are thankful, oh God. We thank you, our King, our Maker, our Hero, our Shield, our Rock. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for uh, becoming poor for our sake so that we can access riches, wealth, abundance through that process. We are grateful in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray that God will grant us divine understanding of this mystery. It's one of the mysteries of the kingdom. You know, that God will grant us divine understanding of this mystery. The Bible says that Jesus opened the eyes of the, sorry, the understanding uh, of his disciples that they might understand scripture. So it is not what is written that they, that they, they did not understand because it was written in their language. Just like this one is written in English now. Uh, so we understand what it's, we, we know what it says. So if you are asked to repeat what it say or explain what it says, you know, we, you can explain it. Any of us can explain what, what is, you know, said here. But there is an understanding, there's a revelation, a revelational understanding that unleashes the power behind it to produce result. I want us to pray, Lord, open my understanding to understand the mystery of kingdom wealth. Open my understanding, O oh Lord, to understand it in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself that God will open your understanding to understand this mystery of kingdom wealth in the name of Jesus. Father, open my understanding. The Bible says you open the understanding of your disciples so that they will understand scripture. Lord, open my understanding in the name of Jesus. Zibra goda bashi gede boro godo boshi katabaya. Malita roba si tabayante li karabashinte. Lambra de katobayatite, shekele bori babasunte. Zige de gede 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 boshi gadaba. Zige de gede 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 gadabashanta. Raba goda bara goda bashi gede bori gadabashitabo. Zibe gede begede bogoro boshi gede bori gadabayi gedebo. Zibigede begede bozo godo bogoro boshi gada baya. Zibigede bogoro boshi gede bogoro boshi gede bo. Zibigede begede bogoro boshi gada bali gede boshirba. Our understanding will not be darkened in the name of Jesus. Rabbi kite bori mashanta laba. Zigede gede 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 ribobusha. Zibaro baso tali brakata baya. Zibigede bogoro boshi gada baya ti. Lanteri bakura mashiki tebo yika tabaya. Marige de bogoro boshika tabayante. Ribra de katabayi kere boshika tabaha. Lambre de gede boshika tobayente. Malidada li kere boshinta. Our understanding will not be darkened concerning kingdom wealth in the name of Jesus. Rabo shatu labayate. Malikaru basutaya. Ephesians 4.18 says, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. So one can be alienated from the life of God, from the provision of the kingdom. You know, through ignorance, you know, if the heart is blinded, so the heart can be blinded. There's blindness of the heart also. 
So we want to pray, you know, for the enlightenment of our heart to have divine understanding and revelation, you know, of the mystery of kingdom wealth so that we will not be alienated from the provisions of God in that regard. We will not be ignorant in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that our understanding will be open, O God, concerning kingdom wealth in the name of Jesus. Let, Lord, our understanding be open. Shatera kota boyate shibaru kato bayata limbrade kato bayi kata likeri bosute mantete likaraba shunte yege de bolita lanteri kato bayate te yikete bori mama site malikeri bosonto yege de bo shantala baya limbrade kato bayi te te shikete bori mama shunte. Zabra da kataba likere boshi kataba likere boshi kataba ya. Lintere boshi kataba ya tale brokoto boshinta. Zigede gede gede rigada bashi gede bori gada bashinte. Lampra kataba yikete boli karaba shute yegede bo. Open our understanding, O God, ikaru bashita. Zibe gede 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 ba. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Rabo shikata ba yikete bori baba shanta. Zige de bogoro bo shige de bori gada ba shige de bo. Zige de bogoro bo shige de bali gede bo shige de bayante. La prakata ba yikere bo shige de bayata. Understanding is what leads to result. Yes. When there is no understanding, there cannot be result. Let's ask that God will open our understanding that there will be result. There will be result in the name of Jesus. We will access kingdom wealth and walk in it in the name of Jesus. Shabika toba kora bashiki Zige dege 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 gada bashi gede bori gada baha. Zige dege 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 gada bashi de bori gada baya. Rambre dege de boshi gada baya ta shendele bori gada bashinte. Zige dege 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 bobo shita baha. Thank you Jesus. Rabo shita laba. Thank you Lord. We appreciate you. We glorify you, Jesus. I want to pray for you now. Uh, I want to pray for you. You see, the Bible says in Luke chapter 2, 24, Luke chapter 24, verse 45, it said, Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scripture. Jesus had to open their understanding so that they understand the scripture. The understanding here is not in the letters. It is in the spirit. Father, I pray for everyone on the prayer line tonight. And Lord Jesus, you will open their understanding to understand the mystery of kingdom wealth in the name of Jesus. Lord, open their understanding to understand the mystery of kingdom wealth. How to access it, how to engage it, how to operate it. Lord Jesus, open the understanding of everyone on the prayer line tonight and everyone that will listen to this recording to understand it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Because we know if we understand and engage in it, we will achieve the result that is prescribed in the Bible. Lord, open the understanding of every one of us to understand this mystery, to understand this principle, to understand Lord God Almighty, how to access kingdom wealth, which is a divine provision you have made for us on the cross of Calvary. 
That's why you became poor, so that we through your poverty might become rich. We ask in the name of Jesus that you open our understanding to understand the mystery and to engage in it and to achieve results. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are not, we are not, we are not you know, in the, in, the, in the manner of those who, who, who look for it in a satanic manner. They go and look for it with the blood of animals. Some will look for it with the blood of human beings. But we know, Lord God Almighty, but that by the shedding of your blood on the course of Calvary, you have provided in the kingdom for our abundance. Lord, you are, the Bible says you are more than willing, you know, to make us have more than enough in everything, every time and in every way. The Bible says that you are more than ready to make us overflow in abundance, Lord, in every good thing that we do. But we need understanding to access this provision. Lord, grant that understanding unto us in the name of Jesus. Grant it to everyone listening to me, hearing me now, everyone that will ever listen to me or hear me, grant understanding of how to access that provision to each and every one that will begin to walk in it in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. I sincerely pray from my heart that God will open your understanding, that you understand this mystery and begin to engage it. Uh, in the name of Jesus. All right, let's just go over our, our regular prayer points very quickly. Uh, I want us to pray for Parkland community. Uh, just be praying them as I'm saying them, as I'm saying the prayer point, uh, just be praying it. Uh, let's pray for Parkland community, that God will enlarge them, increase them, that God will you know, surprise them and bless them uh, because of their relationship with us in the name of Jesus. I want you to also pray for them that everything they need from Gunet County, Gunet County we, we grant them in the name of Jesus. Every permit, every license, every, uh, uh, every certificate that needs to be issued, the Gunet County will grant them. The proposal they have with Gunet County, let's pray for the approval of that proposal. They have submitted a proposal to Gunet County. Let's pray that the approval will be granted in the name of Jesus. Lord, the proposal that Parkland community submitted to Gunet County, Lord, let that proposal be approved in the name of Jesus. Let the proposal be approved in the name of Jesus. We promise that all the glory will be returned unto you. Let the proposal be approved, O God. Let it not be delayed. Let it not be hindered. Let the proposal be approved. Please pray that the proposal will be approved. They have a proposal. They have given to Gunet County. You know, uh, they are waiting on Gunet County to approve it. Let's pray that it will be approved. It will not be denied in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we pray the proposal that Parkland community submitted to Gunet County for approval. It's a good proposal that will make everybody, you know, make Gunet County okay, make him okay, make us okay also. Let's pray that that proposal will be approved in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not be denied in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant favor and grant help in the name of Jesus. Let that proposal be approved, O oh God. Help to facilitate the approval in the name of the Bible says that you walk in the heart of men, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. But walk in the heart of all those who are in charge of approval, both to will and to do of this good pleasure in the name of Jesus. For it is your will that we prosper, even as our soul prospereth. 
Lord, Likatora Masha. The door you open, no county can close it. Likaro Basutaya Balaba. Lord, walk in the heart of men, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because we know there will be testimony. There will be shout of joy. And we promise that all the glory will be returned unto you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want us to, to pray. Uh, I'm looking for, let's pray for Easter program. I'm looking for my phone. There's a prayer request that was sent from, you know, by somebody to, uh, you know, to, Somebody sent uh, the, a prayer request to us um, that uh, her children's application will be approved. I, I promise that we're going to pray on it. So let's just pray um, for, for this person. Uh, okay, Mrs. Titi Lyo, Mrs. Titi Lyo. Let's pray for this woman. It's from outside the U.S. that she sent the prayer request that the application of her children will be approved in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that the, uh, the, the, the American visa of her children will be approved in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Mrs. Titilayo, in the name of Jesus, that the application, the visa application of her children, Munyolua and Inisiolua, will be approved in the name of Jesus. Lord, surprise her with the approval, you know, before the middle of this year, in the name of Jesus. She sent this prayer request to this prayer altar. Lord, and we know that you are faithful. You've been faithful to us upon this altar. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus that the visa application of her two children, Oreolua and Emisiolua, Munyolua and Emisiolua, will be approved before the middle of this year in the name of Jesus. And she will share the testimony to the glory of your name. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. All right, let's pray about our Easter program, that God will open heaven upon our Easter program. It will be successful, productive, and fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus, our anniversary will be glorious, that God will give us an anniversary gift this year. Even as we celebrate his faithfulness, his mercy, his grace upon us as a church, during our anniversary this year, we'll pray. That God, you open heaven upon us as a church. You will draw men and women unto yourself. Let souls be one, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. And grant us a birthday gift from heaven that no man can give. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for vision 127 that God will bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for Pastor Tusoya also that God will strengthen him. In that effort, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let's pray for... The situation in Ukraine, that God will bring the war to an end in the name of Jesus. And everyone affected negatively by the war, that God will reach out to them and meet them at the points of their need in the name of Jesus. I want us to, uh, to pray for our singles, that God will Appoint to them the bone of their bone, the flesh of their flesh. They will not make mistakes. They will not fall into error. Let's pray for our married couples that God will uphold their marriage, keep them in unity, in peace, and harmony, oneness. Let's come against div divorce, separation, and homes that are broken. God mend them back in the name of Jesus. Let's remember our single parents that the Lord will be with them. Fill the gap for them and help them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's pray for our service this Sunday. That God will open heaven upon the service. God will draw men and women unto himself. Let's ask God to grant utterance to those who will be ministering to us. And that God will grant divine understanding to those who will be, who will be listening. Let's pray that everyone that appears in Zion this Sunday 
will have an encounter with God. And God will meet everyone at their point of need in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God for answers to all our prayer tonight. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you for answers to all our prayer points. Thank you because we know there will be testimony, O oh God. And we promise that all the glory will be returned unto you, for no man will share your glory with you. Thank you for the desires of everyone on the prayer line tonight. Let their desires be granted. Let the expectation of be cut short, O oh God. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. All right. Today we have uh, three more minutes. Today's Friday. We normally take offering every Friday. Uh, so let's give. Remember, uh, give bountifully. Remember, let it come from your heart. Remember, let it not be grudgingly. Remember, let it be with joy. And God will make all grace a band towards you that will make you have abundance in everything, every time and every way. And overflow of abundance will be your portion in every good work you do. So let's give. All right, let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege of giving. You are the one that ministers seed to the sower. Thank you for providing, providing us with seed to sow tonight. Lord, we declare that this is from our heart. It's not out of sense of religious duty at all. It's from our heart. And it's with joy that we sow this seed that you've provided for us. We ask, oh God, that all grace that will make us have abundance of everything, every time, every way, let that grace be released over every giver tonight in the name of Jesus and cause an overflow of abundance to open up for each and every one of us in every good thing that we do, according to your word. We promise that all the glory will be returned unto you. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. All right, so thank you, everyone. The Lord bless you. Same time, same platform tomorrow. I will see you as we round up the week gloriously. Have a great evening. Bye.